Hey y'all, it's Brandon with Voodoo Forge, and I managed to hurt myself a little while back, and I haven't been able to swing a hammer very well, but in my non-hammer swinging state, I did take the time and clean my shop. Now, clean is a relative term. Organized would probably be a better term, and yeah, I did a lot of cleaning, but you, you probably wouldn't want to have a birthday party out here. But uh, it is what it is, and when I did that, I realized that there were some things that I was lacking in, in uh, putting some tools up and things like that. Specifically, for right now, my pipe cutter and pipe threader. I just had these laid on top of the locker, and pipe wrenches were in another place, and so I decided to get that organized, and this is what I came up with for that. So here's the situation. This is all of my stuff for, for dealing with, with pipe. Um, I've got two pipe threaders, one of them with a, a full set, well not a full set, but four, four threading heads there. Uh, a pipe cutter. These came from my old man. He got them back in the 60s working for the pipe, pipe company, the gas company. Uh, this uh, this one I've had for a long time. I think it was my great-grandfather's, but I'm not sure. I ain't buying new, I know that. Uh, and then, you know, assorted pipe wrenches, two of which I purchased new, which were these two when I first, you know, moved out and was on my own and needed to start fixing stuff. I got these two, and then the rest of them have come from God knows where. But anyway, I have nowhere for this stuff. Uh, and... It's not something I use every day, but it's something that I need somewhere to put it. I've had these wrenches over on the pegboard, and I've had all this stuff laying up on top of the lockers, but that's, that's just not, it's not how I like to, to do things. So, I'm gonna make some, a, a rack, a couple of little racks for them out of some scrap. So, let's get on it. This is some eighth by three inch flat stock that has been laying around for a while. It's got a, a fine patina on it. <laughs> and uh, what I'm gonna do is we'll start cutting these three pieces down to 15 inches and that'll be the, the basis for everything. This is some uh, half inch round stop from a repair I did on a gate. I'm gonna use that for my little pegs here, cut it in three inch pieces. But I'm gonna clean this up before I go to cut it. It'll be a little easier while it's long. I need eight of these, three inches long. Oh, I keep tape on there. I went ahead and cut nine because I forgot about my other pipe threader here. I'm gonna have to hang it up. So now for the wrenches, I dug up some scrap quarter inch. I think I'm gonna cut those about two inches long. I think we're going to need about five of these. Now I'm going to take two of these that are going to hold the cutter up and just put a little bend in them there. I don't even think I'll have to get them hot for this. Over here to the switch block. You get a straight peen hammer. There we go. That's about all I'm looking for. The absolute worst part of this is going to be cleaning these flat pieces up where they're weldable. Well, this is what we're going for. So I've got some holes to drill and then uh, some welding to do. Okay, we're going to tack it first. Now 
That's close enough for union work. I'm just going to clean this up a little. This one's ready to put up, and I'm gonna put it up with self tapping screws. If you're not familiar with self tapping screws, they've basically got a uh, little drill bit on the end, and they will drill their own hole in sheet metal, which makes things a whole lot easier for something like this. For all of those of you who know about self drafting bits, there are people who don't, so don't get snotty. for the wrenches because I may get more wrenches who knows but there it is everything's nice and neat and organized and easy to get to now is this a little overbuilt yes is this necessary not really but it's my shop and now I know where these tools are and they're not something I use a lot well the pipe wrenches I use a lot I misuse pipe wrenches a lot which think you're supposed to but I know where this stuff is now and I can get to it easy I don't have to to hunt for it because if you don't have a specific spot for stuff 
you never know exactly where you put it, especially when it's something you don't use that much. So I'm happy with it. So that's that. Uh, it really didn't take that long. Um, I think if I didn't film it, it probably would have taken about an hour, maybe, yeah, probably about an hour to do that. I already had the material, the scrap material that I had around, drops from jobs, and, and now it's taken care of. I don't have to worry about it, fuss with it anymore. So, and that's, that's one of the benefits of having a shop and tools is when you need something like that, you can just make it. You don't have to get online and figure out what can hold stuff. You can just make it and be done with it. It's nice to be a little self-sufficient. So anyway, what do y'all think about it? Let me know in the comments and y'all behave yourselves. Top of the lockers and uh, ooh. Shit. Woo, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Gotta take my mustache there. That one seemed a little juicy. I'm gonna start this over.